We can now use meta fields to populate collections. That's right. You can create an automated collection now with meta field values. So super simple, but let's cover it real fast. All right, I'm gonna cover this pretty fast because I think y'all probably have some experience with this. Basically, we're gonna go into meta fields and your settings and you can go to something like products, whatever kind of type thing. And you can either pick something you already have or let's just go ahead and create a new one. So, collections meta field. So you can see here, this is whatever we want it to be. And let's just go ahead and we'll throw something in here for uh, single line text. We'll do a value, blah, 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 and then check this out. This is allow request from the storefront API. It used to be all the way up here. Now they've moved it down here because we also now have this option to use fields and values to create automated collections. So let's go ahead and check that off. And if you wanna just take a look at that, here's some specific info here. Oh, let's blow that up, make that easier to see. And I'll drop this in the description as well. But it talks a little bit about using them uh, and those sorts of things. So here's something that you can take a look at. But you know, for the moment, let's just drop in. Let's just get to practical application here. We've done the collections meta field, so we made that for products. And let's just go ahead, use the bulk editor real fast, because I want to just make this super simple and clean. And I've done a more in-depth review of this with using the bulk editor. So if you want to check that out, do it. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's just throw colors in here just to make this super simple. And let's find one more. Okay, let's save these guys. So just showing you like with a couple of different things that we can do here when it comes to um, creating a collection. So let's go over here, create a collection. Uh, so this is just, let's call this field collection black. Interesting stuff here. Gotta throw in the filler stuff just to make sure everything's working and cool. And then what you can do here is now we drop down into here and for a product tag we have available, but oh sweet. Now that we've made that available as a meta field option, if you scroll all the way down, you can see there's a meta field option available here. And then this is equal to, okay, we need to have the actual text in here. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Let's go ahead and save. And there you go, bam, just two collections, or one collection with the two products that we had uh, for those two items automatically created super cool let's take a look and there you go so just those two items uh same thing could be said if we wanted to create another one so we can do a minute for the collection uh i think blue is another color blue minute fields we'll do automated again scroll down and this time we should only get one item right There we go, just the one. Super simple. So you can see here, this is a really cool new tool that we have available to us, uh, especially as we continue to leverage the ability to update meta fields uh, using the bulk meta field editor here in bulk editor online uh, with products. And then uh, now just being able to create collections based on that with the content that we're already leveraging in something other than just in the title and stuff like that. Uh, so this is a huge win, super simple, super easy. Try this out today.